Hi, hi guys, Stacey McKenzie here, and I'm at the H&M Versace launch in Toronto, Canada. It's crazy. There is a lineup like all the way around the block. Okay, so today the blog is about the lens that people will go for fashion. They will do whatever it takes to get that one piece of high-end designer. All right, and it's, it's just it's madness. So I would like to, you know, pick some brains and see as to why they will go to these legs. I mean, how fabulous is fashion? Is it that fabulous where you're gonna sleep outside? In the cold? Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you been here? How long? I got here at uh, just after nine o'clock last night. Yeah. Wow. And I just got here now. Oh, you're you guys are friends? Yes. Smart. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> Smart. I love it. See, that's gangster. So you made it come to all the hard work. <laughs> well, I was coming yeah. anyways. I was coming anyways. So. Yeah. yeah. So why? Why? Why here for this collection? It's Versace. I've been a fan of Versace since I was fourteen. Nice. And it's yeah. iconic. And I need a suit. <laughs> I love it. Please. So you are? Tell me what you're rocking. Oh, this is Versace. Yes, I can see. Yeah. The bag. What is it? What's the boost? John Fubar. Uh huh. Arlo. I love it. Yeah, Canadian. Yes. Yeah. 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 Just to get my mouth. Nice. You look great. You look Thank fabulous. You. you know what oh, I mean? I love your jacket. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. What are you rocking? Uh, I love. Forever 21 with the buttons altered, uh, the pants. You do the buttons yourself? Yeah. Oh, nice. Look at this. That's so cool. <laughs> the pants, H&M, and the shoes, Harley Davidson still to Nice. Yeah. You can't do that anymore. It's all, it's all controlled now, yeah. which is great. Which is great, Not like right? the Roberto Cavalli collection where people just... Hey, what, what happened with that collection? People die. People take everything. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, did they really duck for fashion? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, then well, have fun, guys. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I want my audience to get to know a little bit about em um, Emily sure. Scarf. Before we start, sure. you know, for, for start. Yeah. So, everybody, this is Emily Scarf. As I said earlier, Hello. she is uh, you're the public relations manager and spokesperson for H and M. The Huncho. Yeah. <laughs> And um, how did you get started into PR? Like, how did you come about? Um, I used to work more on the editorial side. So I used mm -hmm. to work in New York doing fashion show production and working at magazines and things like that. And I kind of really loved all the, the back end stuff that went into, you know, getting everyone to the shows or, you know, pitching to the magazines. I really liked that. I thought it was very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, so when I moved back to Toronto from New York, I started working at HM in the advertising department. And about eight months later, I moved into the PR department and the rest is history. Wow. Yeah. So you worked. I your worked. Way up. I paid my dues. <laughs> I ran. I got coffee for people. Oh, really? wow. Yeah. You hear that? So when That's I start right. asking you guys to get me coffee, don't be giving me an attitude. <laughs> Everybody we has all had to, to do, do it. it. Yes. <laughs> we all had to do yes. it. Yes. No. Oh, nice. And you, you love your job. I love my job. Honestly, it's it's one of those things that every once in a while I'll just catch myself and I realize that I'm having like most incredible moment like last week at the launch in New York watching Prince you know and I'm just like I have the greatest job in the world so I'm, I'm so thankful it's, it's been a really great experience and I love H&M so it's, it's well I think you're doing a great job thank you yes you're you doing too. a great job oh thank you thanks Emily <laughs> but you've been, you're doing a great job and you know and I hope to I'm sure they're gonna be having you for a long yes long yeah time. I'm not going anywhere so <laughs> she's not going anywhere girls out there coveting my job I'm not leaving <laughs> you tell them girl oh, I like her she gangster Right. So, in regards to why we're here today, it's the launch of the H&M Versace collection. That's right, it is. Right? Oh. Long time in the making, so... Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, we, um, we start working on it usually uh, quite far in advance because, of course, all the clothes have to be made, all the designs have to go through a process. You know, Donatella, when she first started thinking about the collection and how she wanted to go back into the archives of Versace and do this sort of homage to her brother and to everything that he brought to the brand, she said she just started sketching and sketching and sketching to the point where she had like hundreds of sketches. And then, of course, we had to narrow it down. And, um, you know, we don't own any of our own factories. We produce in third party suppliers. So then it also comes down to, you know, finding which, where we're going to source the clothes, where we're going to manufacture them. So it takes a long time to actually put all of this together. And we usually announce it to the press and announce it to everybody about six months before. Wow. Yeah, so that we have a long time to, you know, work with magazines and 
work with them more editorial coverage and do uh, press trips and things like that. So a lot of work goes into So about how long altogether would you say? Two, 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 a year, two years? Probably a year. Yeah, it's still a pretty long time. It's still a pretty long time. But it's so. worth it though. Oh, it's definitely worth I, it. I mean, how, so how long have H&M uh, been doing these collaborations with high-end designers? So we started in 2004 with Carl Lagerfeld. Mm -hmm. And then since then we've worked with some really great names like Stella McCartney, Victor and Rolf, Matthew Williamson, L'Enfant from last year, which was absolutely incredible. And I think this year being able to work with such an iconic brand like Versace that's so well known is such a household name. is is such a great thing because H&M is really about fashion and quality at the best price and for us that means the fashion shouldn't be a question of price so mm -hmm. we're really happy to be able to bring these designer brand names to uh, a more mass market. Well, which is a very, I mean, very cool idea. Yeah, it's awesome. Very cool idea. So, so it's, been, it's been quite a success for you guys. It has, it has. And, you know, people and it continues always, to be. Yeah, and people always ask us, they say, you know, like, how long are you going to keep doing these designer collaborations? Mm -hmm. And we keep saying, you know, as long as we get lineups inside and the customers really love it, we're going to keep doing it because you know, I think it's such a great concept behind it, and uh, you know, you get to own a piece of Versace for maybe three hundred dollars. Yeah. When else do you have the chance to do that? So. True. Oh yeah. There you guys have it. Emily, H and M. We're yes. here for the H and M Versace launch. Okay. And I cannot wait to see how these kids. Well, oh, I meant to ask you. Every, every, it's, it's well controlled now. Yes, it is. Yes, like yeah. because a lot of people were worried about oh, you know, standing in line for hours and. Um, you know, having to like rush in and yeah, try to grab, grab these, everything, grab everything yeah. or whatever. But like, uh, you know, I just got some information that is quite controlled now, yeah. which is really good. So tell us, tell her so, this about that as well. About three years ago, when we launched Jimmy Choo, you know, we realized that we do get these incredible lineups. We get people sleeping on the streets. You know, people are such diehards for fashion, mm -hmm. and we really want it to be fair and democratic. So we developed this system where we hand out bracelets that are color coded for a time slot of shopping. So that way what we do is we let groups of, at this store, we'll let groups of 30 people in at a time. They'll have 15 minutes to shop, then the staff will have five minutes to tidy up the shop and shop and restock any items, and then the next group will come in. So that way it's just a bit more calm, it's not so rushed, people aren't grabbing at staff. We've also placed a limitation that people are only allowed to purchase two pieces per style. Oh, yeah, so oh that that's way, yeah, good. Yeah, that way you know you don't have people running in and just grabbing everything, right. and buying everything of one dress. So this way it's a bit more fair, and we're hoping that by doing that, you know, everybody will be able to get that piece that they've really been coveting. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. That's good. Ah, oh, they got it under control. We do. We're uh, we're definitely pros at these now. And this and this particular collection is highly anticipated. Yes. It's, um, I mean, last year's was high. Or was you know. I think the difference between what, last year and this year... What's the expectation? Yeah, what's the expectation for this year? I mean, I think, uh, you know, like I said, the difference, I think, is that Longvin, of course, is a very well-known fashion house. It's one of the oldest fashion houses in the world, but I just think that there's there's something about Versace yeah, that's it's iconic. so iconic, and it's just yeah. about this fun, sexy girl, and who doesn't want to be that girl, you know? So yeah. I think uh, that's a big part of it, and... Um, I think it's going to be so successful, you know, they're, they're always so successful and we're always so happy with the results and judging by the lineup outside, I think it's going to be a great day. It's going to be great and I'm yeah. looking forward to uh, this one, this collection as well as the other collections, I'm sure. To come, collections to come. I'm sure you're not going to give me the, you'll give me the scoop later though, right? Later on, I promise. Yeah, you promise you're going to tell me the next one? <laughs> you're going to tell me in advance, right? Yeah, make sure. Okay, so we can sort it out. <laughs> Not at all. But um, great job as, as always, Thank Emily. Thank you. Thank you for um, having me. You're welcome. And, Thank you for um, coming. Great collection. I'm so excited. You know, Johnny Versace, everybody. Oh, which is, by the way, Donatella did a great job emulating Johnny Versace's she did. iconic she looks. She did. She really, she really did. did. With yeah. the prints and everything. Really great job. Really great job. The and materials, like the, the, you know, the chain mail. Yeah. So you can picture it being you on can tell. Christy Turlington, yeah. and Naomi Campbell. Yeah, Linda Evangelista, yeah, like Linda all of those. Yasmin, yeah. uh, uh, Yasmin Gori. Yeah. Oh, you can, okay. So I'm gonna leave you because I know it's pretty hectic right now. It's about to be hectic in two seconds. I know. Emily, see you later. See you later. All right. Let me like scope out what I'm gonna get. In those shoes. <laughs> Thank you so much You're again. Welcome. All right. Welcome. Rule your runway, everybody. Emily Scarlett. Bye. <laughs>